hello hello friends how are you doing i hope you are doing fantastic i hope you are doing great and a welcome welcome into today's video thank you so much for choosing to watch this video and if you're new here my name is lucy milton and karibu karibu sana and for my gang gang thank you so much for always supporting my content thank you for always showing up for liking leaving a comment i truly appreciate you so in today's video we're going to do some cleaning yeah guys we're going to do this is actually my day to day cleaning routine yeah this is what i do on most days so yeah i'm going to take you through my day and we're going to do some cleaning and organization and everything that a mom does yes guys so we've started by washing or cleaning our vegetables these are the vegetables that i bought the other previous day and i gave you a grocery haul so if you've not watched that video please go back and watch it it is so much interesting and you really really loved it thank you so much for the sweet comments i truly appreciate you yeah i always look forward to the comments guys so always leave me a comment and a like and i will appreciate you so enjoy the video guys and uh, yeah we're going to catch up later in the video So guys, I'm really, really loving these oranges. They are seedless and they are so delicious. Uh -huh. They're not like the last ones that I bought. They're so good. And I'm really enjoying my vitamin C. So once I'm done cleaning my tomatoes and my oranges, I'm going to wipe them down with a dry kitchen cloth yeah, so that I can put them in the fridge while they're dry. You don't want to put your vegetables in the fridge while they have some water or store them when they have some water because they can actually rot. Yes, they can go bad. So make sure that you dry your vegetables. So yeah make sure they're super super dry and clean before you store them and oh my god guys just look at those tomatoes oh hey ah i'm just uh, smiling or, like looking at them so yeah i also dry dry my oranges and uh, so that i can store them so i don't store my oranges in the fridge so that they don't get cold so i just uh, store them in the pantry and maintain them at the room temperature and here are my carrots so guys can you imagine these carrots were 70 shillings only yes 70 shillings only and there are actually other places that were selling them at 50 shillings just that i didn't get uh inside the market like properly deep inside but anyway i'm not mad at it i'm loving the carrots and they are fresh and they are big and uh, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm lo I love when the, the food stuff are a bit uh, cheap or affordable. Yeah, because this cost of living is on another level. So this is how I store my carrots. I make sure that I cut off the roots and the tip and uh, clean them, dry them, just like the way I did, uh, I did with the tomatoes and the oranges, then store them in a plastic bag. So that way they tend to stay for so long guys they can stay more than a month without getting without wilting and uh, they are firm and fresh yes try that uh, hack you can as well put in a um, plastic container or you can just fill them with water yeah you see like that container i have you can actually fill it with water close the, the with the lid and your carrots will be so fresh for long yeah that's a tip guys and uh, if you have any other tip please let me know on how you can you store your carrots or your vegetables so this is how i do them so these are uh, plastic bags i get them from the person that i buy milk from the baby's milk so i usually tell him not to like tie at the top so that i can you know i can recycle these uh, bags and you can see they're really really coming through well when storing my vegetables
So these are sweet potatoes that we're going to take for breakfast and uh, I wasn't going to boil all of them, about 4 or 5 uh, is enough for us and uh, yeah so guys mm -hmm. how do you boil your pot sweet potatoes i put some salt in mine yes guys once i do, I, I try this method by adding salt in my sweet potatoes hey i've never gone back i know some of you may be surprised but yes guys just try it's delicious so as my sweet potatoes were boiling, I decided to come and uh, clean the utensils. I did that off camera because I wanted to do it fast and quick. But yeah, as you can see, my utensils are clean and now it's time to, you know, leave my sink uh, dry and clean as well. And uh, yeah, so I hope you're enjoying the video so far, guys. Uh, yeah. <music> Now that my utensils are done, it's time to clean the cooker. And please, guys, let's ignore the white two patches on my face. <laughs> yeah, so if you're wondering, those uh, two patches are actually breakouts or pimples on my face. And uh, I have this hack that if you have a pimple, you can put in, you can actually apply some toothpaste. I don't know. I don't know. Let's hope it works. But actually, it did because it reduced the swelling, the inflammation. But yeah. So yes guys, let's ignore that. Let's focus on the cleaning, right? Right, so uh, this is how I clean my cooker. So I always make sure that I switch it off from the switch. Please don't wipe your cookers while they're still uh, switched on in the socket or in the electricity. Yeah, especially if you're using some water. Yeah, it's advisable to switch off your cooker. But anyway guys, so... Uh, yeah, this is how I clean it. I use it a uh, kitchen towel and some soap and wipe down the cooker. It's basically that's it. I don't scrub the cooker. So where you see there are some scratches, it was actually a pressure cooker accident. But anyway, I don't scratch my cooker. I just use a cloth and some soap and water and that's it, guys. That's it. So also make sure that I also wipe the walls around. But yeah, so that you know sometimes they can get some food spills and i don't love that also i don't forget the upper part and that's basically it so this cooker has served me for quite a while and it's still in perfect condition and i'm loving it guys some calling for open up the doors i'm locking on no oh, oh, oh. i'm losing control oh, oh. So guys, this is how I clean my oven door. So there are some people who open their oven doors, but guys, I'm not that a risk take. I don't, I don't think I can risk and open the door and clean in between the glass door. Oh, hey, what if I, I it doesn't go back? You know, there, there are these types of cooker that actually they have some clips that you can just simply clip on or clip off the uh, the door and you easily clean but this brand oh i don't think because it's actually screws that you need to like screw and unscrew the door so that you can clean so but eh, it's not disturbing me that much to open and uh, to open the door and clean in between no <laughs> i'm not that kind of a risk taker i know but actually so long as the out and the inside is clean i don't think i i mind the in between because it's so much risk but anyway guys if you can please do it so 
yeah so wipe down the grills and tada my cooker is all cleaned out let's not forget the gas cylinders because some food tends to spill on it make sure you clean it and also some cooking oil yeah you don't leave it uh, out we don't want roaches around so make sure that i make sure that everywhere is super super clean <music> So I also make sure that I wipe my spices, the spice containers, because they tend to be greasy and dirty. So I wipe them, I wipe them down with the, this uh, kitchen towel as well, and some yeah, some little water. That's all. So that's basically what I do with these spice containers. <laughs>
When it frees your heart It's no longer the same Cause it's full of mind And it frees your heart It's no longer the same We need to get up So right here i was starting to feel a bit tired but guys you need to finish up with the cleaning so this is actually my day to day cleaning routine yeah guys so this is what i do most mornings so after making breakfast utensils i wash with the, i make sure that the house is clean uh, before i continue with everything else yeah guys so it's not easy it's not easy being a mom and especially being a stay-at-home mom, it's not easy. It's a lot, a lot of work. No time to lay, to drift away. I fill my space, I spend my time. Down the rabbit hole again. And as I fall, I can feel the pain. You can tell me where to go. So I don't know, I just go with the flow. Falling up, I'm falling down From the sky and from the ground Up above, just like below And I don't know where I should go So for this room i was not doing a deep cleaning it was just uh just cleaning like yeah just cleaning off the dust if there is any but yeah it wasn't a deep cleaning so yeah we are done with the bedrooms now we're doing the living rooms but luckily we're just mopping this side of the dining area because we don't have a carpet there and yeah guys i hear i was feeling it yes I was really feeling it, especially in my back. Yeah, my back really, really hurts, guys. So, yes, guys, enjoy, keep enjoying the video. Let go. 
Every time you come back, it's like falling down these lies again. This feeling that I have deep down inside. Doesn't mean to be happy Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty You thought, you thought you were done? Oh no, 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 no yet Not yet guys So, you still have some laundry to fold I think as you can see it's a huge pile of clothes And yeah guys, that's basically it That's my day 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 to day routine yeah so mm -hmm. so let's fold this clothes and as usual i can fold my clothes with no something to watch i have to watch something whether it's a youtube video maybe a movie and on this day i was watching netflix there's this show that uh, i was following up like the masked singer masked singer yeah it's an essay show and uh, it's really really interesting i'm really enjoying it so basically the celebrities come and sing while they have their masks on then you guess which kind of cel who the celebrity is so yeah i love the suspense uh <laughs> where you get to uh, reveal the the celebrity at the end as much as i don't know these celebrities because they're from South Africa and of course guys I'm from Kenya but I'm just enjoying it. I'm really really loving the show. So mm -hmm, if you're a reality lover, reality show lovers, lover, go and watch this uh, show. It's really really interesting. Okay yeah it's just a good show to binge watch. Yeah it's uh, amazing. I love it.
so yes yes guys you guessed it right it's ugali again <laughs> i'm guilty guys yes i'm guilty please judge me the way you want yeah it's okay i won't feel mad but anyway guys with all that kind of work i mean which kind of meal do you expect me to eat it's just ugali right so yeah guys as usual we're going to eat ugali with some greens and some beef stew guys i promise you i can't go like two days with no ugali yeah and Yes, I don't know why I just don't feel when I cook any other kind of meal. But I promise you guys yesterday we ate giberi. Yeah, we did. But just that I did film it. But I think I'm going to be filming other kinds of meals, right? So that you don't just uh, imagine that I just eat ugali every day. But I can, guys. If I could, I can eat ugali every day. But anyway, guys uh-huh so now it's Hi. evening it's almost dinner time and i'm making my dinner and as you can see we're all three so and our boy of course is there on top so guys don't worry i usually keep an eye on him and uh yeah so he has never fallen and i pray that he'll never fall from here but this is where i can only contain him otherwise he'll be all over me he would want me to cook while holding him and you know it's near fire and accidents can happen so yeah that's the only place that i can put him like confine him on one place so i hope you have enjoyed the video we're almost coming to an end actually we are here and thank you thank you so much for watching till this point i appreciate you i thank you for your support please leave me a like a comment and subscribe if you haven't and let me see you on the next one right yes bye bye